what would you say in this same vein what would you think that like fans like that guy who, who assaulted the referee or just you know regular fans what yeah. part do you think that they don't grasp that much about the role of the referee or what part do you think is he is he is he most um that will be obvious to you but to them just seems to just go right over their head what part of the game you think is is that hmm. is is a complicated thing i believe um we yeah. could probably start with knowledge knowledge of the laws i mean everyone yeah, just watches, basic. yeah everyone watches the game but how many people actually read the laws and and mm-hmm. understood why a decision is being made because right. we, we are governor we we have to everything we do have to be backed up by the laws of the game which is right. publicly available it's online you can search it if if, if you desire it mm-hmm. um so i think basic probably ignorance of the laws or knowledge of the laws is is the right. first thing but more important i think is um just understanding that the person who is refereeing is a human being too and yeah and they it could be you know it could be you on the field if if you know, if it happened that way you know it could be you know, think think how how will your how will you treat your fellow human being would you immediately jump to the conclusion that yeah. there was human being in the world because <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 and i think the is it might be obvious but a referee is going to make a decision and it's going to be for a team and against a team yeah so you have to understand mm-hmm. roughly on average 50 percent of decisions are not going to go your way so something yeah, yeah. Like decision that is that is against you is not that the referee is against you but it's just the nature of how the, the yeah yeah all right that's awesome um what would what would you say is like so i asked you about your bad experience uh, bad, bad experience what would you say is like like give me like three of the best experiences you've had as a as a ref um it, it, the best experiences so far has been um international once i became international i was able to to travel and meet new people i mean even even in Trinidad and Tobago, I will have done games in Tobago maybe, and you know you get to go Tobago for two days or maybe. Which is always a blessing. <laughs> it's, it's always a, and sometimes even like going places I've never been, like beach and far far east and, and far south. You know, it's just it's just that it's amazing to be able to get out and go different places. I think. For me, I, I like to just, I'm kind of adventurous. I like to see new places and meet new people. So yeah, any, anytime I get a, a game and it's a, it's a place I've never been, I, I am happy to, to take up that opportunity to travel and get to that. So I think general traveling is, is a great opportunity. I mean, also when I went to Central America, I know they are more passionate. So from the time you step on the field, you, you get that, you know, you, you get you, you start getting cussed, so you get abuse in Spanish. So you might think yeah. what the same, but you yeah. still but just <laughs> that atmosphere of that energy. Yeah. So You're just happy to be there. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. I would have gone to some big stadiums recently. I would have went to Azteca and the Azteca wow. is, am- is amazing. Mm. It's an altitude. The 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 noise from the the stand is, is amazing. I would have gone to Denver, uh, Colorado. Yeah, uh, that stadium, like seeing these these stadiums, and right off the bat, my most amazing experiences come in the Go Cup. I would have been in Go Cup 2019, and mm-hmm. I was in Go Cup for this year. I was in the finals for the 2019 Gold Cup, but as a reserve right. assistant referee. And right. it was just amazing being in Chicago in Soldier Field and that. Just being I was in the I was on the field sitting down, but I'll, and then after the game I would have received a, a medal. So just being yeah. in that atmosphere, USA versus Mexico. Yeah. And fast forward to 2019, um 
I was on Nation League's final with right. USA Mexico. Right. And so two big, was, two big classical clashes. That yeah. for me was the most um, interesting, amazing experience because you get the clash of the the giants in Concacaf. Yeah. And it could kind of reflect uh, probably a, a World Cup game where you know you have Argentina and Brazil. Yeah, yeah. You know, so you get a taste of that atmosphere. It was intense. I mean, there was a lot of yeah. um, tough situations to handle. Right. And then for two, after the Nation League, all of them broke up and I was selected for the semifinals in um, World Cup, Mexico, Canada. Again, that was an interesting game. Tough challenges, fast pace, high uh, intensity, mm-hmm. high intensity. I had some tough and fast decisions to make as well in right. terms of offside. So, yeah. the, those experiences, when you add them all up, is amazing for me. And those will be all like right. my best experiences so far. All right. Just a couple of quick fire questions, well, um, simple, simple quick fire questions. Um, yeah. The highest level a game where you were the, the main man in the middle, highest level. Um, I and it, it will be in Trinidad because as an right. international referee, I specialize as assistant. Yeah, referee. assistant. Right. So what was, he, what was so, the biggest one? It, 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 even in Trinidad, I specialize in assistant referee. But um, yeah. in my highest level would have been probably Super League in the middle. Right. I would have done a couple of Super League games. Not often. Right. Nice. But right. as I said, my specialty is assistant. Yeah, referee. gotcha. And and then what would have been, regardless of what level uh, or where, what what role you played, what would have been the, the best game you ever witnessed? Would have been the, the USA Mexico. I will think USA Mexico. That's, right. And then, I think that right. game was three hours long and it had a lot of excitement. So and right. people already awesome. call it the game of the year. So I I agree. Right, 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 right. So, yeah, yeah, and that will be Nations League final. Nations League final. Yeah, 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 that yeah. particular one. Was yeah, would have been. Yeah, would have been. Yeah, one of the best. And then best player you see on the field, local, international, wherever. Best player. Live, live, like like you've seen live, like of course. Best player. Um. Well, I could call out that USA Mexico game. They had good players on both sides. They had Christian Pulisic. Yeah. For right. America, then they had um Chucky Lozano. He's Chucky, yeah. He's excellent. Um, even even in the past, I would have witnessed some um, USA other USA players like um um Bradley and the form, former 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 players who retired and this stuff. Um, right. for Mexico, I, I would have done a game with. Funes Mori. Um, okay, okay. In Costa Rica, they had the Navas and the. Right, Kela? Kela Navas is. Uh, nice, nice. And they, 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 are, they are European based players. So yeah, yeah. They yeah. tend to be more outstanding than the rest. Locally yeah, exactly. based. Yeah, locally based. I have done that game friendly for the national team. Mm. Um, um, Kevin Jones, I've uh, done a couple right. of times. I remember him arguing with some of my decisions already, but he's, <laughs> I always think he's one of the our best players because he has shown the level to, to yeah. play consistently in, in Premier League for so long. And he, yeah. I know people get upset when he doesn't score, but he does, he did contribute a lot to our football. Yeah, agreed, agreed totally. What, um, name. Like, what would you say is your your ambition now? Seeing as you've played, you, you've been through your, your gauntlet at the local stage, and now you're at the international level, but as an assistant referee, what do you have any more ambitions in terms of being a, a, a referee? Do you want to be, do you want to be that main man in the middle internationally? Um, I think I'm satisfied with the assistant referee, and, and it, is, it is difficult to switch out, but I am satisfied with the assistant referee because the decision is, for me, it's more black and white as the offside and offside, right. more than another play. But I do, as a assistant referee, have to support in other decisions, like foul, no foul, yellow card, yeah. I have to give advice, I have to give these information. Yeah. 
So my ambition, I think the ultimate goal for almost any referee is the World Cup and for mm -hmm. specifically the World Cup final. You would like to right. be on that game itself. Yeah. Um, there's only so much referees that can actually do that. So yeah. to, to, to be there, it requires a lot of hard work. So on the way, there are other World Cup games, there are World Cup qualifiers. I would like to do travel, travel to Europe and Africa and do other tournaments. I know there's, there's youth World Cups as well. So right. those are some of the different milestones I could acquire in the meanwhile. But hopefully one day I would like to do a World Cup game. If not, um, next year, 2022, there's the option in 2026 for USA, Mexico, Canada. Which right. is supposed to be expanded and closer to home. So yeah. I have I have opportunities and I need to just grab them and run with them. Yeah, and all the best with that because I think you have uh, uh, a lot of time to, to, to get those 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 uh, those goals, to reach those goals. And I think that um, you know, based on the trajectory of your, your entire career so far, it's like, yeah, that's definitely attainable for you for sure. So all the best. Thanks for watching Saints Some Sports. For more Trimbegonian sport content and other topical Trimbegonian content, please subscribe to our YouTube page and connect with us on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. Peace.